so it's come to my attention that, you know, a lot of people, they can't bulk very well. And I never would have thought, you know, someone being, someone like me being, you know, always being fat earlier in my life. I never would have thought that people struggle to eat food. But apparently it exists. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to fucking help the people that struggle with getting food down. So I'm going to help them by giving them a little bit of tips. Because being someone that can't or that doesn't bulk very often because I just don't need to. It's very easy to get food down. I just do the reverse. Well, if I were to bulk or give tips about bulking, I would just give the reverse advice of what I do, which is cut. So it would be kind of just the reverse of what I would do. And not only that, but I have a brother, which like many of the people that come to my attention, which need help to bulk, or need help bulking, <clears throat> struggle getting food down, no appetite, and so on. I like to give those people a, a few tips, you know? So, what are you trying to do right now? Well, you're trying to, you're trying to get food down in hopes of putting enough energy in form in the form of calories in your body to hopefully put on muscle and i mean it's pretty so this has to do with metabolism and so metabolism is pretty much just your body's cellular activity so like what the fuck like how much is your body using in terms of energy just by existing so some people naturally just have a higher energy consumption just just living and those people are the people that struggle with bulking and putting on mass because the normal amount of food that you would eat the normal person would eat when you eat it and you struggle by putting mass on you've already burned those calories off because you just have a naturally high metabolism So it's already been burned off. So your typical meals are burning off. And that's probably why you would end up being skinny. Because your metabolism already burns off all of that food. So now we're getting to how do you prevent that? And how do you start putting mass on? Well, you have to look into calories. And obviously, I mean... Every sort of advice of this topic would probably go into calories immediately, but there are a couple of things besides calories, and that's one of the things that I'm doing right now, which is cardio. So, because after you've eaten that meal and you're probably stuffed, you need to do something with those calories. And not specifically something that is considered to burn them off, but just to get them down. And by doing cardio, you can activate your digestion. And that digestion will start to move the food through your system and make you hungrier because your body will have processed that food. And so you can get more meals. So that's step one. Step two can of course go back to calories because if you're just eating lean proteins and low in fat items and you're just getting carbs of low carb sources in or you know just fruits or just chicken and stuff like that and you're thinking well I'm going to try to do it this way it's probably a bit harder so some people don't know anything about calories And for that, I'd like to recommend looking at the back of something. So calories have energy. But which calories have the most energy? And those are calories from fat. So each fat 
gram is literally almost or more than double the calories of each carb and protein so carbs are four calories in a gram same thing with protein but fat is nine so if you eat more fat and no i'm not talking about like cheesecake you know more fat like healthier fat you know choose an avocado to eat rather than maybe a different vegetable or fruit and you can add calories in like that you know shakes drinking calories so you know people talk about don't drink your calories because most of the population is overweight and by drinking calories is one of those ways that they become overweight but you can take that in reverse and use that to gain weight instead so what you can do is you can go ahead and say well, I'm going to start drinking calories. I'm going to start doing cardio, moving around, getting that food down after I eat it. Open up that appetite. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to also drink calories too because you just end up pissing it out. It's digested much faster. And don't drink, like, all of what I'm saying is not to go and to do it with unhealthy food. It's not good specifically for your body to do that. So you're going to want to do it with cleaner food. And yeah, it's not as fun as if I were to just say, go and eat like a bunch of shit. But that's not the best. You're not going to get the best gains. We're trying to put on muscle right now. So you don't want to put on too much fat, even though that's kind of, we're kind of trying to gain weight, but we don't want to do it with a bunch of garbage. We want it to at least be healthy so you don't walk around feeling like shit and you don't have shitty workouts and you have rather good pumps. So that's what I have in terms of tips for you know, trying to put on weight because I've recently been, like never before have I ever seen the amount of people needing to put weight on in the past month than I have in my life. So ever since I got to college, I've been seeing all these people super skinny and just needing tips and advice to put on weight. And they just can't because, you know, you'll find eating a really big meal with a really high calorie amount can really stuff you and get a lot of calories in but for the people that don't have big appetites it kind of just keeps them full and since they don't since they ate that one big meal they just stay full the entire like five six hours from then and they don't do any cardio so it doesn't go down and they ate all the calories so they're gonna stay as full as possible and so that's why it's really hard for them to stomach down food but with these tips, it should go down a bit easier. But that's pretty much it for bulking. I might do like a little tip thing for cutting because that's what I've been doing. Like everyone that I know has been needing to cut, not bulk. I, all of my family is overweight because Middle Easterns tend to eat kind of the not lowering calorie food items and they all like nobody knows anything about cal- literally nobody knows anything about calories nobody knows a motherfucking thing about calories and that thing that upsets me the most because if they knew even the slightest amount you would see more people picking the diet soda and not the real sugar one because they're afraid of what sweeteners will do to them but Anyways, that's about it. Might do one on on weight loss instead of weight gain, but that's pretty much it. Do your cardio. Don't get fat.